Hello everyone, here's another quick video on banner messages. So you get a text message or any kind of notification and you get the uh you know the banner notification like uh like this. Come up here pretty soon. Like that. Uh to get rid of that or to you can slide down and let go and it slides right up or you can also swipe to the left of the message and it'll go up now if you just select it it will uh, take you right into your messages so that's a quick way to um, slide your messages off your phone if you need to quickly if it gets annoying if it's not meant to be annoying but it's just uh, something not well known now also in regards to messaging um, you can send uh, read receipts like in your message see where it says red um, you can allow that in your settings for the other person to know that you've received the message now in order to do that you go into your settings and you will go down to messages and then turn on send receipts. If you've got an iPad or an iPod Touch that also has iMessage, this is another uh, way to keep all those in sync. You go to settings, messages, and you scroll down to where at the bottom where it says receive at. You will select that and it will have your phone number automatically selected and below that it will have your Apple ID which is your your email address and uh, iMessage on the iPad and iPod Touch uses that Apple ID email address because they don't have uh, phone numbers. So in order to keep the phone, iPad, iPod Touch or whatever in sync you will have to select your Apple ID, that email address, instead of the phone number on your phone. That way it keeps iMessages in sync across all devices. So again that's a quick video on how to uh, quickly remove the, the banner messages, um, how to show send receipts and also how to keep iMessage in sync uh, between all of your iOS devices. Again thanks for watching hit like and also subscribe above my video and that would be very much appreciated. I will see you in the next video.